Welcome back to Forgotten Hollywood. This time of year, Hallmark comes out with many heartwarming and wholesome movies. Most of them seem to follow the same plots, character types, and always have a happy ending. This is the archetype for a Christmas movie, with holiday stereotypes going back to the earliest classics. This video is about the unconventional Christmas movies. These are the festive action movies, slashers, and thrillers. Before we go any further, I want to make clear what a Christmas movie is. And it's not just a movie set at Christmas. Jaws the Revenge opens with a shark eating someone to the sound of caroling, and no one considers that to be a holiday classic. Come to think of it, no one considers that to be a classic of any kind. One movie often mistaken for a Christmas movie is Lethal Weapon because a note is left in a Christmas tree. But I hold that a Christmas movie has to meet at least three of the following criteria. It must be set at Christmas, the holiday must play a critical role in the film, Santa or another common Christmas character is present, and there must be an emphasis on family or togetherness. This is why Lethal Weapon and Jaws the Revenge are not Christmas movies. They may be set at Christmas and have families involved, but the story would not change if the date was moved to the 4th of July, and no recognizable holiday characters make an appearance. That said, let's start with the most famous of the non-traditional Christmas movies, Die Hard. This action classic came out in 1998 and has been a holiday favorite for decades. A Christmas party is the setting for a major heist and a lone police officer, John McClane, is the only hope for the hostages. The fact he is able to hold his own is a Christmas miracle in itself. The movie is violent, the body count is substantial, but the humor lightens the mood and keeps it from becoming too oppressive. Speaking of lighter films, there's also a few that fall under the category of violent family movies. An example of this for the holidays is Gremlins. This movie hits all the same notes as Die Hard, but with a lower body count and a lot less cursing. On Christmas, a boy is gifted a mysterious pet that ends up spawning an army of dangerous creatures that terrorize his town. As violent and disturbing as the film can be, there are plenty of lighter moments and humor to keep it from getting too dark. There are also ones that embrace the darker tones and go for a more slasher feel. These include films like Jack Frost from 1997, not to be confused with the family film released the following year. Here, a serial killer becomes a snowman that bears the name of a classic holiday character and goes around a small town and does what he does best in the most violent way a man made of snow can. While Gremlins could probably be watched by an older child, this movie earned its R rating. However, the methods of the killer and low-budget effects make it feel a bit more like a Christmas counterpart to a bad Jaws ripoff. Personally, I don't think I'd ever watch it again. 80s-style slasher is not really my thing. Countering the over-the-top violence of Jack Frost are movies like Batman, a Mel Gibson film that takes itself way too seriously considering what story it tells. Santa is having trouble paying his bills, so he hires out his factory to the U.S. government to make parts for military aircraft. Meanwhile, a spoiled 12-year-old is angry that he got coal for Christmas and he hires a hitman to go after Santa. Yeah, that's the movie that takes itself seriously. All things considered, it's actually one of the better violent holiday movies, despite one hard-to-watch scene where an innocent child is threatened. She wasn't hurt, but I thought it was still a bit much. Mel Gibson actually plays a decent version of a jaded Santa, and his missus is one of the best parts of the movie. But I think my favorite character was his foreman. Yes, the premise is ridiculous, but if you like holiday action movies, it's pretty good. Just watch it after the kids are in bed so they can't hear Santa swearing. Blending the ridiculous with the serious is one of the latest additions to the action holiday movie list. Violent Night like with Fat Man, this one is enjoyable, even if it had a few moments I didn't like so much. Santa is introduced as a cynical alcoholic, wondering why he keeps going when the world is so messed up. But when a little girl asks for his help when her family is taken hostage, Santa steps up in a big way. It's Die Hard beats Home Alone, only the jolly old elf is the one bringing the hurt. I don't remember if the body count is quite as high as John McClane's, but it's close. So. That was a few examples for alternatives to the holiday lineup this year. For kids, I'd stick to Bass Rankin. 
Charles Schultz or Dr. Seuss. But if you want to try something new or you're in the mood for something closer to an 80s action or horror movie, you might look at one of these or something similar. Who knows? You might start an unconventional holiday tradition. Thanks for watching. What's your favorite non-conventional holiday movie? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications and I will catch up with you next time.